Hey everybody, Larry Lawton. I got a good video for you today. It's Tiger King is back. Yo, hey, you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. It's Carol Baskin's husband found. I'll get to that right in a minute. Everybody, just check us out, please, on YouTube member programs, Patreon, Discord. Check my birch out. Gangster Redemption, the book is doing great. Uh, obviously, you guys know about this too. I am so proud of this. It's the Crooked Diamond Cigar. Check it out. Check out the website, crookeddiamondcigars.com. Crookeddiamondcigars.com. Check it out. You'll love it. We're getting, we're getting more and more with that. A lot going on. Okay, we got a great video. You know, I wanted to do this video because I was watching all day today. And, of course, Carol Baskins, everybody thought she killed her husband. Now, if you haven't heard of Tiger King... Tiger King was a Netflix series that went nuts. It, it came out right at the, at the beginning of the uh, pandemic. Uh, it was about big cats. Cats, I guess, people are really interested in. Uh, and I mean like tigers and that kind of stuff. Big cats, you'll see a Bengal tiger and that kind of stuff. And most of your cats and everybody, they come from India. That's the, that's, that's the country has the most cats, big cats. Uh, free, actually. Now, you'd be surprised how many people take these things in as pets. Of course, what are you gonna do with a 400 pound tiger that's gonna rip your head off after it gets away? I mean, they gotta get rid of them. There's some laws about it, uh, but they're so sketchy all over the place uh, from breeding to uh, caring for these things and what's cruel and unusual. Well, Tiger King was about this guy named Joe Exotic. Now, Joe Exotic is a crazy fucking guy. I mean, off the charts. What an act this guy had. He was a gay guy that <laughs> he ran for mayor actually, and it was in the middle of the country, and it was funny as fuck. The characters on this show, first you got Carol Baskins. Everybody thought she fed her husband, her first husband, which was uh, Dan Lewis. Now, Dan Lewis, everybody thought he was in, a, in the stomach of a tiger. Now, to be honest, it's all over the news right now. It, it's a trending story and everything that Dan Lewis was found in Costa Rica. That the FBI knew about this, actually from the Homeland uh, Security, which was founded in 2002. So they had to know about it back then. Uh, up, I mean, because 2002, if they know it after that, he was supposedly uh, missing before that. Now, Don Lewis was the first husband. Well, this guy, her husband now is a guy named Howard Bassett. What a fucking geeky looking motherfucker this is. Now, I don't say that to make fun of people, because look at me. <laughs> uh, I say it because everybody on this show is a character. I mean, you got this guy. I'm telling you, I couldn't stand this guy. Uh, the, I, the only guy that I didn't like is Jeff Lowe. He was a rat. I mean, a straight rat. He's the one who put Joe Exotic in jail. Uh, do I think Joe Exotic should have been in jail? You know, I watched the show, and... Uh, you know, they say he like fed a horse to the tigers and uh, he was breeding them illegally and stuff. I don't know if he'd done stuff that to get the time he got. He got a lot of time. I think he almost got a life sentence. And and he, this is in Florida, this all happened, everybody. So do I think Joe Exotic, he's in a federal jail too, so I'm going to go into that in a minute. But do I think Joe Exotic belonged in jail for all this time? No, I really don't. I think this guy, Jeff Lowe, is a piece of shit. And I think he should be in jail. He rode around like it was a big shot. He was a fucking asshole, number one. And uh, and then there was a guy named John Ritter. Uh, I think it's John Ritter. And he had the one leg. He had long hair. He was pretty cool, though. I mean, so, but what characters? And you know what's really funny about this show? The characters are in Florida. Florida always has the fucking craziest shit on the news. The fucking guys who are on fucking, uh, what's, a, what's that drug uh, that they run around fucking... Uh, taking their clothes off and all this shit and fucking crazy drugs, you know? And, and, and it drives me nuts. So now, I'm here to really talk about one very important thing. If this guy, Don Lewis, was found in Costa Rica, he went there, supposedly, this is what Carol Baskin is saying, with a million dollars to see if he can make it. Shit, give me a million dollars. I'm fucking making it. It's going somewhere with nothing and, and, and earning your money. Uh, anyway, they said she recovered because he was claimed dead now. Remember, this guy was uh, pronounced dead. If, if, and that happened. And now they recovered 80,000 of his. 
So where did he spend uh, 920000 Now, if this guy's really on the lam, if this guy, Don Lewis, was on the lam for a million dollars, I don't know why. That's, that's something people got to ask this guy, if he is alive. I'm almost not sure because you're not seeing it. This is happening real quick. It's going all over the place, so I've been watching the news. This guy's... How in the fucking world can this guy hide for 20 fucking years? That is unheard of. I knew guys in prison. When I was in prison, I knew guys who were what they call on the lam. Now, when they go on the lam, everyone who ever talked to me about being on the lam says they couldn't wait. I mean, some of them wanted to turn themselves in. And I mean, no one is going away for life. It is rough. You don't just go, how do you disappear in today's world? Even 20 years ago, how do you disappear? And I mean, nobody reports this guy. Uh, he's missing posters. They had private investigators. They had a detective at a camp, at a... At a uh, I think it was the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department. And those guys were, were informed by an FBI agent that they did. And they gave him a letter saying he's a lie. So I guess they closed the case on it. But if that's all true, who knows? I had a friend tell me something. I'm kind of almost wanting to believe it. Is it promotion for Carol Baskin's new adventure, cage fighting? Like, what the fuck does Carol Baskin's know about cage fighting? I mean, it, what I'm thinking, cage fighting, it's got to be fucking crazy. Uh, and she said, oh, this is real. This is not fake. Uh, you, there's a lot of blood. And this is what she's saying. Everybody, and she comes off like she's a good girl. Oh, I want to save the big cats. She's a fucking bullshit artist. She has a zoo herself. She has an animal rescue, she's calling it. But it has a zoo. You can walk around the zoo. I'm sure they charge you money to get in there. I mean, where does this girl, Carol Baskin, get her money to feed all these animals? That's another thing. There's so much of this that's kind of like confusing to me. But in my case, listen, to be on the lam, here's what I have to do. If I got on a lam right now, Larry Lord says, I'm, I'm going on a lam. And what do I do? I got to, first of all, disconnect myself from anybody who knows me, period, ever. Family, mother, father, I don't give a fuck who they are. You have to get rid of them, you know, or be off the grid by then. Uh, going off the grid is what it's really called. So now, then you have to cut all connections to anything to do with credit or credit cards. Any credit card he has, the first thing they do is when he gets rid of them, how we get through, we don't know. If somebody finds one of them and uses that card, it's going to be all over the place. They're going to be in a manhunt for that guy. And let me tell you, forget the police. Don't fuck with banks with your own money. <laughs> They're going to really get you. But the I'm in shock that someone can go to Costa Rica. Listen, Costa Rica is a beautiful place. I used to go down there every two weeks, you know, before prison, maybe three weeks. I was going to buy a place out there. Uh, there's, well, that's where all the bookmaking places are. In fact, that's where my sponsor, you wager on uh, the podcast is. So it's just, it boggles my mind. It's such a beautiful place too, Costa Rica. It really is beautiful. But it boggles my mind how somebody can stay off the grid. Now, if he is there, first question, did you have a passport? What happened to you? And all that's got to be verified. Because when they verify the mileage on the plane, they verify the plane, how much fuel is left on the plane, where's the last place they fueled up, they'll be able to figure that out. They got a lot of answering to do to families. Uh, again, glad it's not me. <laughs> but uh, I can't understand how Joe Exotic, my man Joe, Crazy Joe, is in prison when most of the characters are not in prison. And they're all idiots. I mean, what did he slaughter them with a knife? Is that what they're finding out? I don't know. I think it's a very, very, very difficult uh, case to call. Do I think they should even be wasting money on it anymore? No. I wouldn't have found that thousand, uh, million dollars. It'd be nice if you rent one and find it, but I, I don't think I could. The whole fucking show was about the surrounded by the cats and the characters, Joe Exotic, and he had the cape and the whole works. And Carol Baskins. Hey, maybe Joe Exotic's really smart. And this is all a setup. He's really not in federal jail. 
he's in uh, some country club until this whole thing plays out. And then he pops into the picture again. Boy, would that be exciting. Now that's a fucking video. But anyway, Tiger King is what it is. Uh, Sunday's video. I'll tell you a little bit about that here in a minute. But you know, we got Sunday's video coming up and the week is already flying by. I mean, Mike and I know it. We live in Palm Bay. Mike, is that, did you uh, did you lose power? Did you anything? What why, what happened? You don't know? Yeah, uh, Mike is our tech guy and uh, so he stopped in to do a few things today and we were just talking about the Tiger King case. So, uh, I'm in a great place mentally. Go watch season two of Tiger King if you have not. Because this is how all of this came out. It was during season two. After the fucking goes to jail and everything in season one. End of season one. I don't even know if they thought there was going to be more seasons. You're talking about one of the most fucking wacko crews you can ever see. And that's why I have to think they're from Florida. Just because you ever see the news, the national news. Everything in Florida is fucking, you know. Two guys fucking, you know fall off a fucking bridge head first and, uh, you know, get up and walk away. This is Florida. Every crazy shit happens down here. I don't know why. Guy gets shot, shot for telling kids to shut the music down in the car. Uh, crazy shit, Florida. But I will tell you one thing. No taxes. Great people. Can't beat the weather. So, if you're gonna move somewhere, I'm your new tourist video. <laughs> Only kidding, of course. Anyway, everybody, have a fantastic day. Let me know what you think in the comments below if Joe Exotic should be out of jail, the one question. And the other question, let me know, is, is it really Dan Lewis, which is Carol Baskin's ex-husband, is he really in prison? Is he really a free man? Or is he really dead? My prediction on this show, and I'm good at these, is Dan Lewis is alive and well, and he owns a business in like South Dakota, or or, or, or out of the way state, you know, uh, Arkansas. Who the fuck goes to Arkansas? Me when I go to prison, Arkansas, Forest City, Arkansas. Who goes to fucking Mississippi? Wait, a minute, me? I was in Yazoo, Mississippi. But remember, I didn't go to Yazoo, Mississippi, or Forest City to see on my own dime. I went by way of the government's vacation plan. So anyway, with that said, everybody, you guys have a great day. Please stay safe, make good choices, and I'll see you for Sunday's video. We also got tomorrow's podcast coming up. So make sure that they're getting fun. So check it all out on uh, all our platform. And you know, I want you guys to look at something. All you guys who watch my video here, I don't know if you've been to the other YouTube channel, it's called The Real Deal with Larry Law. It's my podcast channel. I don't know what the fuck it all means, but it's The Real Deal with Larry Lawton. And that is on the other uh, place where we keep our lockers for in here in the Orlando area. And uh, just check it out and see what you think. Joe, he's got a great place. I'm hearing really great things about it. So have a great day, everybody. Stay safe. See you next time.